Take a look from Rocky Ford, our Vieira Wireless Neighborhood Weather Network camera. Clear skies overhead, a much different scene in comparison to what we were tracking just 24 hours ago. Here's a look at what we are keeping an eye on here over the next 24 hours. Cold night. That's what we're expecting tonight. It is going to be chilly, but the good news is we are going to warm right back up tomorrow. Tomorrow ends up a lot warmer than it was out there today, and we'll keep this warming trend going as we head into the end of the work week. Changes arrive on Sunday, though, and those changes are going to bring not only cold, but also snow back to the forecast. Low temperatures tonight will be dropping into the teens, with temperatures in the high country falling to below zero in both Gunnison and Alamosa. Prepare yourself. It is going to be a cold night. Cold Temperatures expected early tomorrow morning, but take a look at your highs for your Wednesday afternoon. We'll hit 52 degrees in Colorado Springs, 58 in Pueblo, with upper 50s for the southeastern corner of the state. 50 degrees will be your high temperature in Denver. Temperatures tomorrow noticeably warmer than they were out there today, and we will have plenty of sunshine to make it feel even nicer than that. 56 degrees is what we'll end up with in Penrose, 54 in Wetmore, with temperatures in the low to mid 50s from Beulah to Colorado City and around the Pikes Peak region. 52 in Colorado Springs, 46 in Cascade, 41 will be your high temperature and divide. Cripple Creek will make it to 40 degrees tomorrow afternoon. We are not expecting anything in the ray of rain or snow as we head through your Wednesday. Skycast is showing clear skies through the first half of the day. We'll pause the clock once again at lunchtime, and at which point we could see a few high wispy clouds filtering a bit of the sun as we take you into the afternoon. But really, that is about it. A very quiet weather day here in southern Colorado. I don't even expect that we'll see a lot in the way of wind as we head into your Wednesday afternoon. I want to turn your attention now to your seven day forecast. Temperatures tomorrow, 52 degrees. We'll hit 53 on Thursday, 58 on Friday. Temperatures staying in the mid to upper 50s come Saturday. But then as we head into your Sunday and Monday, things are going to cool down. A cold front heads our way, brings back the chance for showers on Sunday, and the chance for snow is going to last into your Monday and Tuesday. And take a look at those high temperatures. We're going to take a pretty significant hit, dropping back into the upper 30s Sunday into Monday, staying in the 30s as we head into to your Tuesday. In Pueblo, 58 degrees tomorrow, 59 on Thursday, 60s expected Friday into Saturday, 40s then on Sunday with a 10% chance for showers, 30s expected Monday into Tuesday. So it is going to get cold. And with this system that's moving in, we're keeping a very close eye on it because if it just tracks a little too far to the north, we won't get anything here in southern Colorado. However, if it drops a bit farther toward the south, we will be in prime position to get quite a bit of snow. So that is something that we will be watching very closely here over the next couple of days. Canyon City, 56 tomorrow, 57 on Thursday, 60s expected on Friday. 50s then turn into 40s as we head through the weekend with 30s expected to return to the forecast Monday and Tuesday. As we take you into Teller County, Teller County, one of the areas where, yes, it could be pretty cold tomorrow morning. If you have any melting snow or melting ice outside of your house, it's very possible that that could refreeze as we take you through the night tonight. So watch out for some patchy ice in the morning. 46 on Thursday, 50 on Friday with temperatures in the 40s Saturday into Sunday. We will be tracking a chance for showers returning into Teller County starting Saturday, but the main event really Sunday into Monday. But as I mentioned, it's going to be one of those systems where a little too far to the north and we get absolutely nothing. Hmm. But if it lands right in that perfect position here in Southern Colorado, we could have